I really don't think that 14 year old me would recognize me right now. He was shy, awkward around other people, he didn't really want to do a great deal, wasn't motivated to work. It's almost like I'm a new person in a sense. So my mother raised all four of us, all by herself. I got myself into a little bit of a nasty uh, place during my teenage years, thinking that no one was you know, wanting to look out for me, that no one was interested in what I could do. I'd always had an aptitude for mathematics from when I was young, and the sick form college, you know, they made me feel special, they made me think that I could actually do this, and it's through that that I then built up my self-esteem, thinking, actually, this is what I want to be doing with my life. When the time came at A-level to look at universities, Leeds was one of the ones that I was quite excited about. Um, I had an interview, we had a really exciting talk about, um, about nuclear fusion, and I thought, this is a person who doesn't care about their grades, they care that I'm excited and interested. So we fast forward again about a month or two after these exams, and I'm actually in Canada with my scout group. At about one in the morning, Leeds University confirmed place A star in maths, A star in physics, and A in further maths. I was ecstatic. About a week later as well, I receive a letter in the post and it says you have been accepted for the Jeffrey Eichholz scholarship. My scholarship provider, my donor, um, Jeffrey Eichholz, um, he actually sought asylum in, in Leeds during the Second World War being a, uh, a German Jew. He had no money to study but he was a promising physicist. At the behest of Edmund Clifton Stoner, the uh, man who's actually had this building named after himself, um, he was granted um, a full scholarship to study and went on to have a hugely illustrious career. And it's a wonderful feeling knowing that a man who has had the kindness of a stranger believing in them, that he then goes on to reciprocate that. The financial security it's offered me meant that I didn't have to be at work for you know, 20 or so hours a week on top of my studies. I could dial down my hours and just work for the, the pleasure of working, in a sense. It's really quite actually a, a beautiful thing, in a sense, because the sort of inspiration that as a young person you get from the idea that someone who's esteemed, someone who is, you know, already made in life, that they see a young person who may not see the potential themselves, but this other person they do, to actually be able to say to them, you know what, you can do this. I think you can, I'm going to invest in you and I'm going to make, I'm going to help you realise that you can be a, an incredible adult, that you can have an incredible career. You can actually mould your future and I'm going to help show you that. It's, it's such a wonderful feeling.